Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the upside-down world of Florida politics. And a story that, honestly, I cannot wait to see covered by political commentators. Because they are going to have a real hard time fitting this into their normal coverage. Because it's not going to match any of their normal talking points. If you have ever been to Florida especially if you, if you have been outside of the overly developed areas, you are aware of the fact that Florida is different. It, it's different. For international viewers, Florida is a state where the soil, water, sun, weather, insects, animals, and oftentimes people are all trying to kill you. It's a unique place. It's uh, Australia light is probably the best way to look at it. Most people know that it's home to Florida man and Florida woman. But a lot of people don't know that it is home to a politician who has been fighting very, very hard to end a, a practice concerning the Second Amendment that leaves a whole lot of people in limbo. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. So, because I said Second Amendment, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of people assuming that I'm about to talk about Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. No, he's busy fighting Mickey Mouse and some weird culture war nonsense. I'm going to talk about the Agriculture Commissioner, a Democrat, Nikki Freed, who is currently suing the Biden administration um, over this weird situation that occurs in a lot of states. If you go to buy a gun, you fill out this form for the background check. On that form, it asks you about drug use. If you use, you can't buy. Okay. Now, in 36, 37 states, something like that, the state has decided that medicinal is okay, right? But that doesn't impact the form. So people who are in these states, they're left in this weird situation where by state law, they're allowed to own, but they can't go through the process to buy one and go through a background check, which just pushes them to the secondary market, right? So she's suing, trying to get an exemption for this, right? Um, now, it's, wor it's worth noting that the lawsuit was launched on April 20th. Yeah. Um, it, she definitely has a sense of humor. So, the reason this is going to cause problems for political commentators is because if they're a Republican, they're obviously going to have an issue with fitting this into the whole idea of Democrats are trying to take your guns. It also leaves... Ron DeSantis in the uncomfortable situation of having to answer why he's off fighting a bunch of princesses instead of doing this himself. From the Democratic side, obviously this is a pretty pro-gun stance, right? So Democratic commentators are going to want to attack her. However, they're going to have to acknowledge that if she succeeds, more people will go through background checks you know, that thing they always campaign on rather than being pushed off to the secondary market where there is no check. This way, they'll go through the background check. It, uh, it's going to defy a lot of people who try to create very simple narratives. Um, I honestly, I don't know if a lot of people are going to cover it because it's going to poke holes in a lot of their talking points. Uh, now, Freed is uh, also <laughs> running for governor. So she may be running against Ron DeSantis if she makes it through the primary. Meaning Republicans in the state of Florida are going to have to decide between a pro-Second Amendment Democrat and somebody who went to war with Disney. Um, it's one of those things where we're going to get to see whether policy 
is more important than talking points. So, anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.